Hey guys, Johnny here back with more Call of Duty Mobile. In today's video, I give you guys some tips and tricks to unlock the brand new Spec Up skin, Suit Snake, a little bit faster maybe because it was quite a grind. It took me five hours on stream, but it was a live stream, so I did talk a little bit. But also, I did fail a little bit. So with my tips and tricks, hopefully you guys can get it faster. Of course, you need a bit of luck, but still, it's not that bad. You Some things you have to know, guys. For example, some guy messaged me, he says, I've been playing for three hours cannot find the m4 you gotta get five kills with the m4 at the start so i'm gonna help you guys with that for sure maybe you missed some stuff so let's get into the details and before we start make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for daily cut mobile videos let's get into it so this is the spec ups one suit snake brand new free skin in cut mobile available through a grind event so you gotta go to your events tab and then seasonal events and it's the one in the middle called survival kit so you're gonna have to do some battle royale challenges you have to play a lot of battle royale games these games are not that short 15 minutes plus sometimes depending how good you do now once again you gotta do these tasks one by one in order you cannot skip ahead and do the other stuff until you're completing at least the first one then you can move to the second one and then you can move to the next one so first task is kill five enemies with the m4 in battle royale again some guys cannot find the m4 some things have changed on the last update guys the m4 is no longer available on the map you cannot find it on the ground by looting buildings or crates guys the m4 is only available in the airdrop now so it is a legendary item that you find in all airdrops but on top of that you can put your own m4 loadout in your loadout so you gotta go in loadouts tab and click on battle royale and then you can put five loadouts in there so i just removed the m4 because i was working on the legendary at the end so i put a bunch of legendaries in my loadout i mean uh except the the, the second one but i did put a m4 in there on my loadout number one so every time i went to airdrops even if the enemies looted the legendary m4 my weapons were available in the loadout so you can select your own m4 so do it at the start to make things faster because I think if the enemies looted the M4 before you, maybe it's not going to be available in the drop anymore. So put an M4 in there. So anytime you go in airdrops, you can loot the M4. And then all you got to do is get 5 kills. And then I got unlucky. I got 4 kills and then the game ended and I couldn't get my 5th kill. I think I died. So uh, yeah, if you only get 1 or 2 kills, try to get it early in the game on the first airdrop. So you have the whole game to try to get your 5 kills. And hopefully you won't have to play two or three games to get that first task all right so once you're done you have to come back you no longer have to claim it but the second one's gonna start now you need five kills with the asm 10 so maybe you guys have a tough time finding asm 10 it's still available though you can find one but once again my biggest tip guys is go to your loadouts and put an ASM-10 in there in Battle Royale loadouts. That's my loadout number two. I did put my ASM-10 in there. So every time I go to the airdrop, I can loot my ASM-10 and start working on the five kills. And once again, go for the first airdrop, try to get your ASM-10 early and start working on your five kills. Hopefully you can get the five kills in the same game, but still that's one game for the M4 kills. Then you have to play another game for the ASM-10 kills. And if you don't get all five in the same game, you have to play another game. So it can get pretty long. That's why it took me five hours. Uh, once you're done, you're going to have to get a rare weapon in BR 10 times. Now, the rare weapons are the blue weapons. When you see stuff on the ground, sometimes it's common, sometimes it's green, sometimes it's blue, sometimes it's purple. So that uh, is the blue one. I was able to loot 10 blue in the same game. So once I kill an enemy, sometimes it had two blue weapons. I would loot them. I would drop my weapon to pick the first blue. Then I would drop it to pick the second blue and then drop it to pick my weapon back. So anytime you pick up a rare, uh, it's going to count. So I would loot all the dead bodies. Anytime I would find some uh, some boxes, I would loot everything. I don't know how many I got in the same game, but I got all 10 in one game. So loot all the buildings. Look for these blue weapons. Now the next one is pick up a customized weapon from an airdrop three times so it's gonna be three different airdrops you have to uh, pick up a customized weapon something that you put uh, i don't know if the, uh, the m4 is gonna work but i would always go for my own loot and i pick up the, the m4 but i think it has to be three different airdrops 
You can do this in one single game. Uh, after that, kill five enemies with customized weapons from a loadout. Now that is your loadout. So you have to select something. You cannot just ignore that. You gotta go in your battle royale loadout and then you're gonna put pretty much anything you want, anything you like. Just put some weapons in there, go to airdrops, pick your customized loadout and then go and get some kills. If you get it early, once again, you have the whole game to do it. So hopefully you can do that in one game if you get a bit of luck. So um, that is the one here. And there's two more. Next one, pick up epic weapons in, in BR three times. Now, these are a bit harder to find because they're rare. What I did is I landed on an orange location for improved loot. Then I would loot all the buildings looking for these purple weapons, purple rarity, and I only find one. So what I did is I found a vehicle ASAP and tried to go to the next improved loot location looking for these epics. And they're very rare, guys. You might get lucky and get all three at the start, but I had a tough time with that one. I was able to finish still in one game, but still. Uh, my only tip is go for these locations that are orange on the map so you have a higher chance to find the rarer stuff. Now the last one is kill five enemies with a legendary weapon. Now if you don't own legendary weapons, you can still get legendary weapons in Battle Royale. You can find them on the ground, very rare, but you can also find them in the airdrops. The M4 is a legendary. If you're the first to the airdrop, you're gonna get a legendary M4. So get that one ASAP, go get five kills. You can also loot legendary weapons from your enemies and get the kills with these. But yeah, our legendary is the orange rarity. And once again, someone asked me, do I have to buy a legendary to put it in Battle Royale? You don't have to buy one. If you don't have any, you will still find these in the game, guys. And that's it. So it took me five hours from start to finish. But once again, it was a live stream. I talk at the start, talk at the end, do some giveaways, some raffles to play with the viewers. So probably less, way less than five hours, maybe four hours of gameplay. And I got unlucky. I died a few times. I had to restart uh, some of these. Uh, the epic one, I think, or one of these took me like three games. I, I was very unlucky. So good luck, guys. I hope you guys are going to have more luck than me. Let me know if this video was helpful. Smash the like. And don't forget to subscribe for daily cut mobile videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Nice, 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 nice. Spec Ops 1, Pajama Boy 2, Scarlet Kingsnake Wannabe.